Hey there, everyone, this is Aokao, and we are playing some grid today. We're gonna be playing some grid for a little bit, a little bit longer than usual. Is it gonna be sustainable for a little bit longer than usual? I don't know, let's find out. Uh, today we are ending the adventure of Nine Vault. This is gonna go, go oh, I remember this game giving me a lot of trouble. Well, it's the last one, so that's gonna be fun. Here we go, it's Donkey Kong! 25 points, ridiculous. You know the swan, you know him well. Donkey Kong is heaving barrels at you. That doesn't fit a meter at all in Nine Vault. You're screwing it up. And you better avoid them. It was down 81 at the arcade game uh, or inside Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, you can only jump. So there's actually kind of a weird amount of downtime here where it's. I'm standing here. Whoa, watch out. Whoa, watch out. Uh, all right, and then do it again. I guess it's just a little bit faster once we're in level one. Uh, unbelievable. We did it. We have solved the teddy bear's picnic. Wow, you can jump like way early. I am jumping, I feel like, way too early and... Whoa, the old double barrel, huh? Oh, that's what we're doing. All right. Do -do -do. All right, well, so yeah, this is what we're gonna be doing now for a little bit. I mean, I don't know for how little a bit, but you know, for now. Whoa, oh, check it out, it's Donkey Kong, the old double barrel thing. I don't think that can happen in the real game. Because I don't think, well, the, I think the screen is like bigger, right? Like, that's the thing. Like, like this is like a somewhat compact, well, I don't know. Whoa, that was pretty, <laughs> that was pretty hectic. Long barrel, that's a kind of gun. Short barrel is also probably something. Uh, undecisive barrel though, less so. I'm doing it, I press the button. And then jump man jump. Scott the jump man or whatever. Was it just, I think it was jump man who was named at first. Mario came later. When Nintendo of America couldn't pay their bills or whatever. Something like that, it doesn't matter. That's silly. Uh-oh, I just pressed the button for no reason there and I wasn't punished. Whoa, okay, so there I pressed too early, but I think I won. <laughs> Jesus, hell. Whoa, okay, so it turns out this is pretty hard at this speed. <laughs> they were just kind of shut off immediately. Oh boy, there I just did not press the button. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, no, it gets, uh, you know, once it gets fast, it gets difficult. Never thought I would see the day, but that's just the reality. You know, when the bear goes that fast, nothing much you can do about it. Ultra Hand! 15 points only. This is a timing game. One. Grab the ping pong ball with the Ultra Hand. How cool is this? My late 1966, wow, revolutionary magic hand. Also used for playing games. That is that like the name? What also used for playing games? What's the other use case? I, I messed that one up. Yeah, so it's another one of those. It's basically time the meter. Except this time the meter is like the whole thing. Wait, what? What happened? Uh, I'm I'm bad. Okay, just give me a moment. I I need to. It's just grab. Then what is it? Like, was it a grab a color? And I like grab blue. Yeah. Okay. I was not paying attention. I'm gonna be real. Uh, I didn't expect it to suddenly have like, you know, like different instructions. I was not ready for that. You know, typically. The instructions remain the same, and like on level one, it doesn't mention a color. So, oh, it's weirdly precise. I'm gonna keep this one because I might, I could use a practice probably. But yeah, this is uh, surprisingly so precise. But you know, you get like the line background that helps sort of foster a sense of identity. Also, it helps to line up. <laughs> More importantly, uh, uh, bottom. Okay, so there is some amount of let. It's not all just... There's some amount of let, but it's not, like, perfect let. So, you know, it's, uh... Figure it out, I guess. Yup, there you go. 
There's something very satisfying. I don't know what it is. But there's something very satisfying about seeing the small ball being grabbed by the pincer things. I don't know what it is. Like, it's just a graphical depiction of that, right? But there's just something about it. So I can't imagine, like, how sweet, like, it must be, like, with a real boy. Although, man, the, the, the little cup thing spoons are kind of small, so I wonder, like, like, it seems to be designed to capture those orbs and nothing else. So, again, I'm a little confused as to what you can use it for other than as a toy. Doesn't matter! It's Mario Paint! Uh, fly Swatter. We gotta clear 25 again. Swat the irritating flies buzzing around you. Truly magic gaming. Swat! No movement. On a Super Nintendo and a Super Nintendo mouse. I can't wait to play this on a mouse. Yeah, so you gotta wait for the fly to stupidly land right underneath the swatter, which, you know, seems like it'd be a bad idea. Like, I like I feel like it doesn't make sense in terms of survival, but... Oh, can you mash? Are you letting me mash? I'm not punished for, like, swatting without anything underneath it. Alright, we smashing! Whoa, check it out! I don't know how the fly on the side got crushed, but it got crushed. Alright, so, secretly a mashing game. Alright, here we go. Here's the powerful wizard that lives on top of the third moon satellite. You know, he's gonna watch out. He's gonna create dogs and fish. Some of them. This is gonna be a pure- I- I'm gonna say, uh, the, the sound of the swatting happening is satisfying. Like, I don't know if it's a real sound, like, it sounds like just something they made up digitally, but it's still an incredibly satisfying, it's like, ha, ta, you know? I, I like, I like hearing that. And especially when you get to hear it, like, in, in, in series, like, it's so good. <laughs> like, like that? There's just something about it. But, no, yeah, uh, this game, like, when I saw the number, that this was a 25 timing game, I was like, oh, I was a little bit worried, but you're allowed to miss. That's one of the big variables within the game of WarioWare, is that in some games, you're, you're allowed to miss, it's fine, as long as you get your quota. Others, you need to do exactly what they require, otherwise you lose there, too. There's like a secondary loss, uh, function. But sometimes they just let you do whatever. And, uh, those are games that, I don't know, I, I, I don't want to say they're better. Oh, wow, I am just not hitting the third one there, you know? That flies is dancing all over this tile bathroom floor. I guess that's what it is? Are we swan bugs on the floor? Are we hunched down? On a murderous spree, uh, perhaps. Uh, well, uh, it's all good. Like, where else are we gonna swat? All right. all right. I feel like now the timing is uh, happy with the mashing again. Like there was a while there where I couldn't get the third one, but now it's working. As oh, I'm I expertly missed all of them. That was impressive. They I mean like a little infinity symbol, sort of. If you just kind of see symbols where there ain't. Which is normal, because that's what the brain does. Uh, Dr. Mario, that's the name. 25 again. Okay. Make a line of four identical capsules. That's an 8-bit prescription. I'll take any time. That doesn't make any sense, you idiot kid. All right, move. NES, here we go. Da -da. Connect. Okay, and there's no flipping because the directions only mention the arrows. Yeah, no flipping, so just a line. All right, so this is just flat out Dr. Mario, but like worse somehow. Like it's just play, play Dr. Mario uh, 25 times, but like you're missing an important aspect of the game if you're not allowed to flip the thing. Like, War Dr. Wario is a weird game. I don't think it's very good. Like, 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 there's a concept to it, right? And it's kind of interesting. 
like, I feel like it's a lot less dynamic than a lot of puzzle games like that, like Falling Well puzzle. Oh, I put this aside there, the game did not understand it. So, I maybe I pressed it at the wrong time? Because, like, my fear was to overshoot it, but maybe I should be worried about shooting it first. Maybe! Gonna, okay, well, here we go. The ketchup virus is gone! Hell yeah, there goes the lemon virus. Tide Pod virus still rings supreme. Uh, well, that one I had to have to do anything. Alright, well, here we go somewhere. See, I like it when it's lined up against uh, the wall like that, because then I know to just hold the direction and everything's gonna be alright. What's like that? Like, I'm just always constantly afraid of overshooting. I don't know why. I, I love that way you just have to let it fly. Alright, I won. We did it! Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's right. Look at that go. Oh, oh, there's still a blue little thing left, though. What are you gonna do about that? Just gonna live it at the bottom of your jar, huh? You're just gonna keep a bunch of dirty jars in your doctor's office? Whoops. Alright, well, there I messed up. Uh, okay, uh. It's too fast! Uh, uh, da, da, da. Whoops! Yeah, okay. So, at that point, getting precision was unlikely. But it doesn't matter because I won anyway. We only got two games left. This is going really fast. Urban Champion! 15 points, not 25. Guard yourself! while waiting for your chance to co your opponent. It's knockout, I, I'm aware of that. Another golden age moment. It's a single moment. Garden punch! And yes. All right. Shut up, I'm just gonna punch him in the face until he falls in the sewer, and that lady that lives up there, oh, she's into it. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this guy had to hit twice. Understood. Okay, the other one, I'm gonna have to hit three times? Well, that was stupid. <laughs> no one was hitting anyone! I guess that's what happens if we, like, try to hit each other at the same time? Alright, I'm gonna guard this time. I'm gonna hold back. I'm guarding. But if I have to guard, when am I gonna have enough time to actually hit him? I really don't know, because I have to win a level 3, like, yeah, because, well, we'll see, like, I, hmm, okay, okay, what does this mean exactly, da, 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 da. block, whoa, that counted, even if you didn't fall in the sewers, uh, so what did I do exactly, it's a mystery. <laughs> yeah! Okay, well, I got it. Alright, well, there you go. It was a little bit of concentration there, but I'm gonna be real. I'm, I'm not sure what I did differently. Spam, block, and attack, I guess? Alright, instead of just tapping the attack button, I'm gonna tap both attack and block. See how what happens. Let the violence flow near the snack bar, but now the violence has stopped. What an event. <laughs> that just felt kind of disorganized. And I remember this one, Laser Blazer giving me issues. 15 points. Take out the enemy missiles, all right? What a classic. No, it's not a classic. Move target and shoot. You do two different things on the Super NES and the Super NES Super Scope Super Video Game. Uh, okay, that counted, but it felt bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Yeah, yeah. That game and the real game constantly gave me trouble. So like, if you move the cursor on a missile, it stops moving to say, hey, I'm, I'm locked in. And, uh, and that's when you press the shoot button. But see, there I pressed the button, and the game did not care. I guess I wasn't locked in enough? Okay. Okay, so yeah, if you try to shoot, 
when you're not locked in, like in the slightest, nothing's gonna happen. What a stressful game. It just feels weird. I don't know, man. Okay. I'm gonna concentrate, though. Dude, dude, dude! Okay, I can just tap the button and not be punished for it. And so that means that it removes the timing component, and I can just kind of move the cursor in front of it. Okay, and yeah, now I'm just tapping firing, and uh, I am being rewarded for this behavior, so... Well, that I just moved badly, because it goes pretty fast at this point already. We're not even at 20 yet. I don't know, but here you go. Uh, 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 yeah, destroy the sky and everything within, if you feel like it, and I just so happen to feel it. Yeah, well, there you go, just barely got it. And there, yeah, I, my cursor moved too fast, and I missed the missile, and that's the end of my life. Uh, Alright, so luckily I found the trick to just kind of cheese something. As long as all you're interested is not a high score, but just seeing a little spinning flower on the corner of the border. That's all good, man. That's all you need to do. So, we're gonna continue in the same order I did the game originally. So, after doing this one small child's games, next time we're gonna be doing these two small child's of the nature. Are you looking forward to nature? The ninjas within. I mean, it's just gonna be the nature games and not like this was one of those where like a whole bunch of uh, Wario stuff was also integrated in it and it annoyed me. No Wario, just nature. Pure. Oh, but we're not gonna get the cool aesthetic though with the sliding doors and everything. It's just a jukebox still. I, that's, that's the life on the grid, man.